retrieval because today I'll be comparing Husqvarna 550XP Mark II with the Steel MS261C and the CS501SX from Echo. Let's just start with this saw right here. So what I've done is I've made a lot of cookies. Did a lot of different cuts. Then I'll just tell you what I think about the different sauce. What I especially like about the Husqvarna 550 XP Mark II is the aggressive speed, and I like the. Um, easy access to the air filter. Also the oil and fuel caps are nice and easy to open and close again. I also like the feature right here with the um, aiming line going all the way down. So let's take a look at this baby. So features I really like about the Steel MS261C is the feel of it. It fits nicely in my hands. Loving the aiming line that goes all the way down. Also the fact that the power is just right there, right away. Um, nice speed. I like the way that it's nicely balanced and it just feels so steady. What I don't like about this saw is the oil cap. I don't know what it is about steel and not changing these oil caps, but that for me, the only thing I don't like about the 261 is the oil cap. What I really like about the Echo CS501SX is that it is so light. It's really nice to work with um, because you don't have that extra weight to carry around. Um, I also really like the fact that you can go get into the air filter without the use of any tools at all. Just unscrew this sucker and you're in there. I really like that. The oil and gas caps are both nice and easy to open. And as with all other Echo products, you can use the handle to open if you can't get them up. There we go. I haven't used this saw a lot, so I don't know that much about it. In my opinion, having an on-off switch is kind of old-fashioned. Um, I like that the saw is always just ready to go. So with this on-off button, I tend to forget that it's not on. And that just makes me pull this uh, starting port a lot more than I need to. So this, in my opinion, is old fashioned. And also the feel of the choke is a bit odd uh, compared to the other saws that I'm used to working with. So one big issue for me with this saw is that the aiming line is just down here. This is my preferred side when doing um, my notch. So when I hold the saw like this, I can't really see the aiming line. So I wish they would make it up further. And let's just take a look at all of the saws together. <laughs> so let's talk about the specs. Husqvarna is 50.1 cc, while Steel and Echo are both 50.2 cc. Fuel consumption. Husqvarna, 1.3 liters per hour. Steel. 1.66 liters per hour and echo 1.54 liters per hour power output husqvarna 3 kilowatts steel 3 kilowatts echo 2.57 kilowatts the maximum bar length recommended by the manufacturers for these saws are husqvarna 20 inches Steel, 18 inches. Echo, 18 inches. 
So these are the Danish prices right now in US dollars and Euro in the current exchange rate. Husqvarna, 915 US dollars or 845 Euro. Steel, 840 US dollars, 775 Euro. Echo, 770 US dollars or 710 Euro. So in Denmark, there's a price difference of 146 US dollars between the Echo and the Husqvarna. Um, that's a lot of money. So in my opinion, the difference between the saws need to be really big in order to have that much of a price difference. The price difference between the steel and the Husqvarna is 74 US dollars. So that's also a lot of money. Um, and again, I think when you have that much of a price difference between two saws that spec-wise spec are almost the same, um, it needs to perform a lot better. And then in most cases, when you look at the specs for chainsaws, they put the dry weight, so the weight without gas, oil, and bar and chain. I decided to look at the maximum weight instead. So I filled up all three saws. I filled them up oiled them up and well they of course got their bars and chains on them so I weighed all three saws the echo saw is six kilograms the uh, steel saw was 6.4 kilograms and the Husqvarna was 6.3 kilograms in this video they all had the standard equipment so these two saws came with 15 inch bar and this one has an 18 inch bar therefore it is slower um, the chain is a lot longer it takes longer to go around and therefore the cuts will be slower so it's not really a fair comparison um, but this is as they come from the manufacturer all the saws are with brand new chains and bars and I'll kind of just let the cut speak for themselves. I'll put the time in so you can see how, how fast they cut.
So when using the sauce, my feel was that these two felt like they had more power than the Echo Saw. Um, it might just be the bar being a different size, but these two both felt a lot stronger. I did a cold start on all three saws as well. And um, well, all of them were pretty easy to start. My general feel uh, when doing the bore cuts was that um, the Husqvarna and the steel both went in really smoothly. Um, no kickbacks at all, even when I tried to do it like really using almost the point, the tip of the bar. Um, and the echo saw somehow was a bit more shaky. Like, um, I could do the bore cut, but it was kind of shaking a bit. Let me see. In all fairness, I have been using the steel uh, MS261 a lot. And also I've got the old version of the 550 XP and I've used that saw a lot too. But the Echo saw is brand new for me. So everything I tell you is just from this small video right now, um, which isn't really fair, but I didn't have the time to use it a lot. So bear with the Echo saw. So which one should you pick? You should of course pick the saw that feels right for you. Um, in my opinion, these two have a lot of the same feel. It's almost the same weight. Power feels kind of the same. Price-wise, I do not feel there's a $74 difference between these two. The Echo Saw is even cheaper and with a price difference of 146 US dollars, I recommend trying it out if money is even a slight factor. And the things that annoy me might be what you just love about it. So I know you'll all be asking me this afterwards, so I better just answer right now. Which one would I pick? I would go with the steel because she fits my hand better. The handle and the gas here fits my hand a little bit better. It's smaller um, than the Husqvarna. I have to stretch my finger to get down to the Husqvarna. I don't have to do that on the steel. Weight-wise, the steel is 100 grams heavier than the Husqvarna, but it fits my hands better and therefore it actually feels lighter for me when I hold up this saw than the Husqvarna. That's one thing I really like about the steel. I like to carry my saw like this. And with the steel saws, they don't kind of slide down. But for some reason, Husqvarna does. So I can carry it here, but it kind of slides and the steel saws just don't slide. Um, I haven't been walking around with the echo saws. So I can't tell you. No, it doesn't slide. <laughs> so I can carry the echo as well. Um, but I prefer the steel saw. But as I said, I found these two to be pretty similar and this guy to be kind of on his own um, I like the lightweight I also like the feel in my hand with the gas and everything um, but design wise 
these two look more expensive and as I said with the button here and the choke um, it just it feels a bit old-fashioned it's definitely a good saw um, but I would go with the steel saw because it fits me better I hope you liked today's video and it at least gave you some idea of the differences between these three almost identical chainsaws um, and what to pick if you're in the market for a new chainsaw and um, if you like the video please leave a comment subscribe and also you can follow me on instagram at female lumberjack is that right i was right yeah.